Hey friends, my name is Monique and I am a better planner here on YouTube and Instagram. And in this video, I am going to share um, the planners I have used and or tried out for 2024. And I'm going to say how it uh, worked out for me this year and we'll go from there. But I also want to say thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for supporting my channel. I hope for you to gain some inspiration and encouragement on this channel. I'm here at, uh, where I do mostly decorative planning and different planners, layouts, and sizes. So without further ado, let's get started. The first planner that I used is my on the go. This is my mini. I did start out using a horizontal layout. And then if you know me, if you watch my channel long enough, I like butterflies and florals. And so this Happy Planner mini came out um, last year and it was, it's a 18 month planner. So it's from I think yep, July of 2024 and it goes through December of 2025. Now with this one, what I was doing was for the monthly, I, I uh, took some plain pages out because the monthlies in this one was already decorated. I didn't want it to already be decorated like that. So I've been adding some of the monthlies I have from the planner that I originally started with, which is I think I already got rid of it because I think I already got rid of it when I started straightening up but anyhow it was a, a 2024 planner so i used the last um december monthly to franken plan into this one for the monthly and then so yeah so i have this planner here And I bought on clearance for $5.49. And uh, is it dated? Yeah, it's dated and it has 2022. So I'm thinking about going ahead and just redating the monthly and using the uh, monthlies to finish out this one. That's why I haven't bought another uh, mini. So that's just that will be in my lineup video just like a sneak peek i guess but yeah so i'm going to continue to use the many happy planner as my on the go it works well i put my i can put my um shopping list in there any errands i need to do or whatnot in this uh many on the go uh, let's see let's next i use the uh Hell of a plan budget planner from last year January it's a 12 month un well it's an undated planner but it's enough for 12 months this is what I have used this year um, it works well for me for what I use for my budgeting and I'm going to continue to use a budget planner for next year and you'll see you'll see everything I plan to use in my 2025 lineup but um so i am going to stick with this uh budget system here for my budgeting planner and then i use uh calva plans vertical planner spread for 2024 and um it worked well for me and i'll do um, a flip through of it 
Um, let me see. Well, I guess I could do a flip through now because I'm not going to do... Well, we still have December left, so I'll wait so we can just flip through the whole entire year. So I'll wait because December is not over yet. This is just January through November, but very well loved. Um, this was a good uh, planner for me as my, what we normally would call it in the planner community as a catch-all planner. But here recently I heard a planner, and I cannot remember who it was, but she said that um, she didn't uh, understand, well, because she used to call it catch-all too. I was it. I think it was playing with Elise, but don't quote me on it because I love Elise. I love playing with Elise. I watch her videos daily. But anyhow, because um, she was doing her, uh, showing her planner lineup, and she was like, I don't know, because I just can't catch everything in here. So why we call it a catch-all is what she was saying. And it kind of resonated with me. And I'm like, she's kind of right, because if, if it's a catch-all, it's going to have everything in here. You know, the budgeting, um daily which i have my daily this is my franken planner so i have my catch all in here my budget my faith uh, planner and then i also have my uh extra note paper my daily sheets these are um, extra sheets I made, like my reading tracker, date night tracker, ladies night trackers, kids activities, things of that sort, vacation tracker, stuff like that, little trackers. And then I had made a mood tracking calendar. So I keep all that in here. And then I transfer each month to the respective planners, like my catch-all would go in here in in, after December, December and go back in here if that makes sense. Um, and I've been doing it like that for years, actually. And as I was trying to, um, let me find, get my faith planner. That's the one I didn't pull out. But um, when I was trying to determine what I wanted to do, if I, if I wanted to try anything new, since I've been doing this since about 2017, um, I was trying to find, and then I also had contemplated on doing, having a, um, a main planner with just pen and just like minimal, minimal stickers. So I had even thought about that. And, um, I don't know. I think, I don't know if I was like kind of nervous to try that or what, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I still ended up getting the same planners <laughs> that I normally get every year um, with the same system. So that in itself kind of tells me that I'm comfortable with the system that I'm, I'm, I've been doing for years. And uh, that's just what I like. So this was my vertical layout catch-all planner and it works well for me this was my faith planner and it was again by Kel of a plan um when Kel of a plan started making planners it, um and she she uses wonderful paper that's what drew me to her planners so that's why i've had one two three I think I, I thought I had another one of her planners, but maybe not. Three of her planners this year. So I have my catch-all, my faith, and my budget. The paper is just wonderful. I love, I'm a, I love florals. So these are some beautiful, beautiful florals. And uh, just everything about her faith planner is good for me. And then as I was looking through here. I'm like, I didn't use these pages for what they were for, but that's okay. Like these are for prayers, the date, prayer request, and you know, the answer. I could have did me some grace goals over here. So I have um, 
Oh, I have a wonderful plan for 2025 when it comes to my faith planner because we're going to get bigger and better in, in my uh, spiritual life come 2025. But um, it, now this planner did not have a monthly, which I love because I didn't use the monthly. I do my own scripture writing. I just use my app that I have. I use the um, Bible app, and I just go in every day, read my scripture, and do what I do, and write it in here. You know, I decorate my pages and then write it in each day because your scripture changes each day and I like that because you don't you know there's no pre doing anything it's day to day and that's what I like about it I because I want to seek God's word every day so um, this planner worked perfectly for that and in the back I believe she had like some yeah sermon notes and Bible study I appreciated this section and um it had these pretty um note page pages in here and this is what i wrote my sermon um notes on and uh, um so we can say this planner definitely um worked for me beautiful planner beautiful planner and um that's that so that's my faith planner my catch-all and my mini and my budget now to something i honestly i just jumped on the bandwagon to see how i would like the daily grinders goal setting planner or the daily grind goal setting planner i picked the red one i didn't do the, the little color thing or whatever you can do on the website I picked up based off uh, my favorite color red um, I started out uh, pretty good doing some create creative stuff in here inking um, mail liners writing down uh, daily goals you can write down a, you got your uh, Time it's over here where you can write out your game plan for the day, uh, write what you're grateful for. Don't, don't forget, I believe, goes here to feel amazing. I will. Let's see. Okay, this is the last page that I <laughs> did, it was November 24. So, yeah, I fell off a little bit. And uh, I was doing, I was doing it every day for about a month or so it comes with four months everything is you gotta i believe the disc which are right here i like metal discs but these are the discs that came with it um so the then you purchase the cover and then the dividers that have pockets they all have pockets yeah they all have pockets and then it came with some stickers with uh, months and header titles and things of that sort. So you could use this for everything or you could use it as a goal setting planner for which it is created to be for. Because you have a monthly, then you have your important dates top 10 goals this month I'm excited about, top priorities this month, thoughts, ideas, and notes, word of the month. Then you go here and you'll have like a weekly uh, set up. This is another like monthly thing that I never use. Then my top focus this week, and then you have your days of the week. You see I didn't put anything in there and that's the first week of November. I think I didn't do anything this week. I just decorated it. I think I got tired of writing the same goals from day to day. And I'm just being transparent. I got tired of writing the same goals day to day. 
Um, I really was not using the get it done. Wasn't using this because in the beginning I was whiting this out and it, I was doing a lot and I'm like, no, it's just, it's, it's too much. So I tried it and I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to think of the, I don't know. I don't know what happened. And, and it's like that sometimes. That's why um, I'm leery about trying new things, I think. Because now I see, it seems like it was a waste. Because um, I still have. Let's see. I didn't even do the last week of November. This is the last week of November here. Or is this? What happened? I think. Oh, that's. Well, that's. So that must be two weeks that I missed then. The last two weeks of November. No. This started the 25th <clears throat> through the 1st. So this would have been 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. I'm off somewhere. 30. Oh, and then the first. And then it says this week in review. Okay, so that's the last week of um, December. So I have my this in the wrong spot. So this would start December. So I actually have two full months that I can still work in if I choose to, December and January. And I may, um, I don't know, because I, I really don't want to waste <laughs> this um, this here. So I'll see. Maybe I'll trial it as a, well, I'm not even going to trial it as a catch-all because I'm not, I'm not going to do it because I like my vertical planner. Um, but um, I honestly don't think I'll be um, investing in this any further because, like I said, it's a Forma system. I would have to purchase more of these um, pages here. Um, the pages, the paper is good, good and thick, good to um, ink on and mark on and all that. But uh, I just don't think. Um, this is something that I want to really um, use as a catch-all planner. And that's different from Happy Planner. It's a longer. It's longer and a little bit thinner. But... Um, I wouldn't even, it wouldn't look right to even try to frank, frank and plan any of the pages into a regular um, disbound like Happy Planner or a Caliber plan, Planner. So, that is what I used uh, throughout 2024. And that's what happened. So I'm really proud of myself because I did mention in um, my uh, an, an Instagram post that um, I didn't splurge on, I haven't in a long time splurged on any uh, Happy Planner products. Um, I find myself buying more from independent um, small shops, which is really the way to go. I just... I believe in that. Um, these big companies, um, they're not hurting. I'm just going to be honest. Um, we should all just be, uh, you know, helping each other, support each other out here in this world called America. But, uh, and this is a small shop. Caliber Plan is a small shop. I mean, um, Daily Grind sells stickers and 
all kind of she's doing she's doing her thing i give it to her but as far as this being a system for me to use i'm really uh i don't know i don't know so we'll see what the next two months bring um because like i said it's still i still have two months in here to go so we'll see but i, I i'm just being transparent at where i'm at in my <laughs> frame of mind right now with it because it was just sitting over there on my cart. And I haven't bit more looked at this um, or did anything in this gold planner. So that is that. Look forward to my 2025 lineup. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming, y'all. And I'm excited because I, I already um, love it. And I haven't even put a, a dot in it. That's how excited I am about it. And new planners in a new year is, is definitely uh, a planner girl's highlight of the year. So, um, like I said, that's it for now. Um, I also plan to do a short tour of my happy room, my planner space. I've never did it before, so um, I am going to do that. And so stay tuned for that if you'd like to see Mo Better Planner's um, little space. And it's my space and I love it. So stay tuned for that as well. And I think that is all that I can think of for now. So if you have any um, comments or suggestions, just leave them down below. I'll try my best to get to them as um, quick as I can. Um, that's another goal I need to set is to answer um, comments in a timely fashion. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. Until next time. Mm -hmm.